Here's how you can gain over 10,000 followers from one TikTok live stream by combining a viral video concept and TikTok live follower alerts. As ever, this is timestamped and you can join my Discord if you need any help. So let's start with a viral video. The script I use is pretty simple. Let's just watch. Every time you follow my live, your name appears on the screen. Don't believe me? Join the live right now. As you can see here, that video got me over 500,000 views and the curiosity of the viewer drives them into the live stream. So all you have to do is adapt this script for your game or for your content niche and then post it a few minutes before you go live. Of course, it only works if we also add in the follower alerts. So we've got the viral video concept and now we need to add in the alerts. Unfortunately, sites like Streamlabs don't support follower alerts, so we have to set them up ourselves. But this is a pretty simple setup. So if you follow along, you can do this with no coding experience. So we'll start on Isaac Kogan's GitHub page, which is linked in the description. And we begin by downloading Node.js, which is step one here. So on the Node.js website, you can download the LTS here. Just keep pressing next when installing. You can accept all of the default settings. Now Isaac hasn't listed this step, but we need something to run the code. So we're now gonna download Microsoft's Visual Studio code. I've put this link in the description as well. And once again, you can simply accept all of the default options when installing this. So now we download the alerts from Isaac's page and I've linked the download in the description, or you can just click this link here and save them into your folder of choice. I'm gonna pick TikTok Live Alerts. Now they're downloaded, we simply unzip them into a folder of our choice and then we can delete the zipped folder. So now we open Visual Studio Code and we go File, Open Folder, and we find where we save the alerts. So for me, it's in my TikTok alerts folder in my documents folder. This step's important. Make sure you single click on the folder named TikTok gift widget master. If you don't select this folder, you're gonna have errors later on. So we click select folder. It's now gonna ask us to trust the author. So yes, I trust the author. So now we have our list of files on the left. Make sure you click public here so you can see this config.json file. If you can't see the list at all, Click on the top left corner on the two paper icons. So let's click on that config.json file. This file is where most of our settings are. So let's make some basic changes to these settings before we go live. Most people, including myself, just turn the volume on the alerts off. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this volume on line 17 to zero. And when you're making any changes, don't forget to hit save. If you're someone who does want sound, let's set the volume back to 0.2. You need to change this default setting here from null to a sound file. The easiest thing you can do is copy paste the one for rows. If you go on your file explorer, you can actually upload any sound. You just click into the alerts, click on public, then click on sounds. And in this file here, you can put literally any sound file. But once again, I'm not gonna play any sound, so I'm just gonna undo these changes. We'll have no volume and no sound for the follows. Let's look at the rest of these settings here. Another important one here is the name color. So as you saw earlier, the name is highlighted in a different color. And these are CSS colors here. So you can either type a CSS color code like the author's done here, or you can type plain English colors like yellow, like I've just done here. And yellow is actually what I use for my own stream. As ever, don't forget to save the file. The other setting here that some people like to change is fade after, and this indicates how long the alert stays on the screen. This number is in milliseconds, a thousand is one second. Personally, I'll leave it on the default. Finally, at the top here, we have your username. We'll change this later, so keep watching. Before we test out the alerts, many people want to remove the follower's profile picture. And in fact, I'd already done this when I showed you the alerts earlier. So if you want to remove the follower's profile picture, it's very simple. Just click on app.js on the left. We're going to scroll down to line 68 here. And all you have to do is delete the whole of line 68, like I've just done there. And as usual, don't forget to save the file. If we scroll down to line 126 on the same file here, you can see you can change the text when somebody follows. For now it says their name is now following, but if you wanna mess around with this, it's in HTML and you can change it to whatever you want. So we're pretty much good to go, but you should test these before you use them on your own stream. So to do that test, we need to find a TikToker who's currently live and is getting follows and or gifts. Once you've found them, just copy their username and go back into VSC, into config.json and change the unique ID field here. Don't forget to save as usual. Next, we'll do a very important step. We're gonna hit terminal and press new terminal. Now I'm gonna type four letters, npm space i, all lowercase, and I'm just gonna run that. 
This is going to install all the required packages and you will never need to type that again. Finally, in the same box, I'm going to type node server.js and this is what you'll type every time you start your alerts. As you can see now, it says the server's now running and the widget's available and it's inviting me to control click. So let's control click and see what comes up. Now, of course, you have to wait until somebody follows or gifts. So here's the first follower coming through on Kraken Hits. And as you can see, the name has appeared and it's disappeared after five seconds because we had the fade time set to 5,000. So finally, let's get the alerts up and running on OBS and we'll keep using another account, which is live on TikTok right now, just to make sure that it works on OBS. This works pretty much exactly the same way on Streamlabs. I'm going to click the plus button, click on browser. I'll call this TikTok alerts. Press OK. And now I have to paste in the URL. So let's grab the URL localhost. So we just stick the URL into this box. Don't tick the local file box. And I'm going to change the width and the height to whatever your width and height is. For me, it's 1920 by 1080. And you can leave all the other settings. And now I'm just going to hit OK. Now you simply wait until the test account starts getting followers or gifts. As you can see here, our alerts are now successfully coming through. And like with anything on OBS, you can move it around and you can resize it as you wish. So now let's go back into VSC and add in our own username. So my username is WG underscore Mojo. We'll save the file here. And I'm also gonna click at the bottom into the terminal and press Control and C, and that will stop the alerts. If you've reached this far, consider subscribing to help me out. So finally, here's what you need to do before every single stream to make sure that this method works properly. Firstly, post your viral video a few minutes before you go live, and you can use the video I showed you earlier for some inspiration. Make sure you have VSC open before you start the stream and make sure every single file is saved. Before you type node server.js, go live on TikTok because it only works when you're live. Once you're live, type it in node server.js. It should tell you that it's running. If you wanna be completely certain that it's running, double click on the alerts inside OBS, scroll down and press refresh cache of current page like i've just done there press ok just occasionally if you don't do that it will show you the alerts from the previous stream so that's it you're good to go and the whole reason this method works is because the tiktok algorithm is very smart and it's worked out that it should show this type of video only when you're live on tiktok when i'm not live this type of video on my profile hardly gains any views at all but when i am live the curiosity of the viewer drives them from the video into the stream. The screenshot I showed you at the start, this is a real result from my channel. They won't be the most loyal of followers to start with because they were just here to see the name, but now it's your job to convert them into the most loyal viewers. YouTube's partner program requires 1,000 subscribers, so consider subscribing if you want to support me. As ever, join my Discord if you need any help, and thanks for watching. <laughs>